Hello. There we go. The, sounds like a slow transition. Hello. Hi. Greetings. How are you all? It is. Uh, you can't. You'll respond in chat, obviously, eventually when we get there. But um, it is eerily quiet because I just realised I didn't have any music on, and then there's a bunch of stuff that I actually need to take off because it got. I thought you were going to say it's eerily quiet because I'm muted, Lucy, again. Nope, you are. I actually made sure to unmute Yay. desktop audio before we went live. So. Hooray! Yeah, I. I'm just going to take some stuff out of a playlist. Happy New Year, everybody! Indeed. It's been a little while since we have done one of these because we had Christmas holidays, basically. Yeah. Um, and, but, I, and I don't hello. know about you, but the thrill of cancelled plans sure is, is alluring to me when you go, Oh, shall we? Nah. Ooh, that means I've got a free evening. Uh, yeah. Nice. Let it rip. Um, but yeah. Hi. How... Great jumpers with both of us. Yeah, we are wearing our somewhat well similar color jumpers see yeah we it's sort of i because while while you were here for christmas and you were wearing that i realized that like this this one doesn't it's not inherently a christmas jumper but when positioned alongside yours it suddenly like snaps into the focus of a christmas jumper so yeah. this is also not a christmas jumper but it looks like one Yes. It it looks like a little like snowflake patterns and stuff across it. Does. It does. So yes. yeah. Yeah, these look like snowflakes. Yeah, yeah. Very non-Christmas, winter seasonal. Yeah, and like because yes. I I so I found this one in my drawers like again over the over the the holiday period, um, and it was like oh yeah I don't I don't think I've ever worn this jumper I I rem I think I remember guessing it but then I would have put it away and just. Because I got it in the summer, and so just stashed it in a drawer. And then today, while I was just scrolling back through our YouTube channel, I saw no, I actually wore it in September. There is literally the thumbnail on the podcast on this um, of me wearing this jumper. So no, I'm wrong. I I have mm -hmm. worn it. It's fine. Um, but yeah, the joy of randomly finding a piece of clothing. Yeah. Yeah. Sam has a lot of jumpers to find. I do. It's great. Look, mm -hmm. I've even got one just behind. I just sat on the camera. Yeah, you can just about see it. Yeah, this very, very thick lad from Fat Face. Yeah. Um, it's good. Nice and warm. Yes. Right, we now have music. Yeah. Which hopefully yes. won't get like copyright stuff. I mean, it's not. We've not had anything muted yet from yeah. this. It's just all like game music that gets occasionally copyright claimed if it's not. Yeah, in the system. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron, you forgot oh, your, your blue. blue nice. I... You have yeah. yours somewhere. Yeah, mine is somewhere. Might be in a drawer, might be hanging up. I don't know. Um... Yeah. But yeah. Hello. Ooh, um... Welcome. Welcome. Greetings. Indeed. Yeah. Happy, yeah, happy new year. I hope you all had happy new year. a good Christmassy, festive time. Yeah. And new year and things. Um, That's a little bit loud. I'm going to turn that down. Yeah. Yeah. It was the weather was crap. Yeah, it just. Oh, do you like rain? Because and wind. Yeah, yeah. A whole ass storm blowing through and trying to cause yep. untold amounts of destruction. Yeah. Um, yeah. Forty it's days. Occasional Oof. full days away. Yay! That's hey. Good. But yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, sure are doing storms in the UK. Yeah, like, like everyone we're, else. We're doing great. Yeah, everyone else has had snow today, and I think for me, just this evening, it might have started snowing. I like I in like the neighbors' car headlights as they were reversing. I could just see like little flakes falling through, and yeah. and in turn, he would he would have seen me stand up and go, ooh. So yeah, that's turn around and go what? Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, wet and windy. Yay! Yeah. That's the British. Oh, Paroli had a very white Christmas. This is true. Yeah, we've seen uh, the pictures. All, yeah, many, many pretty pictures. To be fair, though, you do live in Sweden, so it's not it's not exactly cheating, but it's kind of like it's cheating. Yeah, it would be more concerning, I think, if you didn't, right? Like. Not to, yeah. you know, assume that all Sweden gets snow, but you probably get a lot more snow there than here. Yeah. But I'm I'm a little bit envious. Not entirely normal? Oh, okay. 
okay. Curse you global Rain warming. was wild, rivers are so... Yeah, so I um, uh, I had like a, a family lunch out yesterday. It was mm-hmm. just a pub lunch on a Sunday. Um, and went to pick my brother up from where he resides. And um, half of the road was underwater, which was quite entertaining. And it hadn't been raining for like two days. Um, and yeah, yeah. and the it, cause it's because it's next to a river. Um, and the river had like not just burst its banks, but it basically invaded the field. Yay! And and the road as well. So I was like, oh, okay, ha, <laughs> fun. Nice. Um, yes, it's the kind yeah. of weather where I'm go- I'm driving around going. I need a bigger car because <laughs> <laughs> it's when you see like a massive great defender oh, drying through this puddle, and yeah. the water's like up to the grill, and you're like. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that's good to know. Let's go the other way. We go Land Rover with a snorkel, just cruising about and blasting yeah. water into everyone's houses. Yeah. That's a yeah. favourite. And then that water on the road freezes. Yeah. yeah. We haven't had any sheet ice here yet, but it's it's, de- it's definitely getting icy out there. Ayo. Small car problems, floods and hills, both troublesome. Sadly, there's a lot of those, both of those, round where I live. So my car has a great time. There are. Yeah. Wasn't it literally the first time you drove me? You're like, oh, <laughs> boy. I was just about to say, yeah. Yeah, it looks, it looks like it'll be fine. It was just a massive lake that had accumulated at the bottom of a hill, and like as, as we were kind of pulling out of it, it's like, um, is water meant to be coming in? And my feet were just like <laughs> yeah. soaked as water, like flooding in through the car. Yeah, ah, it was, a, it was, a, fine. it was a blind bend. Um, and there was just suddenly a puzzle puddle, so like couldn't see the puddle was was not going slowly enough to safely mm. pass through puddle without water somehow getting into the car. So uh, Sam got slightly wet feet on that journey, and I was very stressed. It was very stressful. Uh, hopefully, this don't break anything. I'm just swapping my screens over so that when I'm right. when I'm looking at you talking, I'm actually looking in the right direction. Fair enough. Which me I and think... a monster truck. Me and a monster truck would be dangerous. Mm. Yeah. Actually, no. Me and a monster truck. Yeah. Me and, me and a monster truck would be dangerous for, but probably not for the reasons you think. I wouldn't be able to see above the steering wheel. That's true. You'd. Yeah. That would be the danger there. I wouldn't be able to reach the pedals, and I wouldn't be able to see, uh, see above the steering wheel. Just another one of those drivers that you occasionally see out on the road. That's like, you say, just... how how can you possibly see it? Like just hands. Yeah. Up. Not actually very safe. No, probably not. No, no, no! It literally isn't like they. Yeah. Like when you when you get a car slash when you're getting driving lessons and stuff, you have to kind of be a certain. To be safe, you have to be a certain distance and height above the steering wheel because otherwise, yeah. if you stop, your face is going straight into the steering wheel. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. So, it's a tiny girl, five foot nothing, who drove to school most days in her parents' giant pickup truck. Oh, that sounds incredible. Uh huh. I do. I do quite like. Small people in massive cars. It is quite entertaining. No. Yeah. You have to have your seat at the weirdest angle to drive because you have hand controls. That's kind of cool, though. Yeah. Do you feel like you're in a spaceship? Because because that sounds like like kind of driving a car like a spaceship. Can you, can you just get it wired up to like an Xbox controller so you can just do like everything? People will have done that. Yeah, they will. It's probably yeah. actually wildly unsafe, but. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Aaron, you're not able to prop a big van as the best vehicle you ever drove. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like you've got so much, so much more vehicle to think about with a van. Yeah. It's like people who are who are like, especially like articulated lorry drivers. Don't know yeah. how they do it. It's like ah, I'm going to reverse into this space, and my the back half of my vehicle is going a completely different direction from the way I'm steering, and the front half of my vehicle is like. Oh boy! I mean, like I, I was. I mean, this, this isn't on that level, but I was so impressed by JD getting the van when oh, the, when we were doing oh, that filming was, for the. That um, was a time. Yeah, the in the forge. Yeah. The um, made of ale sessions. That's the one. Yeah, the 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 very narrow corridor, and then turn like a right angle turn, and other corridor that he had to yeah. like, back the van down just to actually get there and, and out. Like, what like that much space it was the side of the van and we were just sitting there in the van going it, it was a precision job up yeah. a hill as well it wasn't like fl- oh, level it's like the really round, round a corner and then up a steep hill to get out it was 
I mean, yeah. we probably could have found another option. You, you say, poor JD, this is my brother. If presented a task like that, he will go, yes, I will do that. And you're like, no, yes, uh, this is, is this, fine. Everything's fine. Is Let's this wise? Like, no, it's fine. I'll do it. I'll do it. So he, yes, but he does make these choices himself. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, mm. joys of being an older brother, eh? Yeah. There are joystick controls with disabled drivers. That's really cool. Neat. That is very cool. Yeah. Um, how do we get onto vehicles? Uh, let's backtrack. Oh, snow weather. weather. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah. 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 Um. Uh, but yes, I yeah. hope you all had a good Christmas. Yeah. Um. Show us your presents, uh, then show us what you got. Oh well, I can't. Like one of my presents is actually. <laughs> I could. I could actually. To literacy. Where's Where's the camera? Oh, I, are you gonna? I'm just look. Look. Nerd hat. No. 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 no this is your present. This is your Christmas present. Casting, oh, for a, casting a shadow across my face, because because it's here right. and I'm I and I'm not going to show you. Um, I don't know what this is. No, you don't. And it came what the day after Le I left. Yeah, so like the I think the day you left, I got a letter. It like it was it was posted on like the sixteenth of December, I think, yeah. and and just it took forever. And then obviously it arrived, and this isn't any fault on the the part of the poster, um, but it when it like it just got held up by the courier and then customs for ages, and then yeah, like in January. Obviously, it's January now. the The day that Lucy left, I got a letter through from a different courier, saying, "Yeah, we've got your thing. Um, please pay this. Please pay the import duty." And I was like, I, "Okay. Firstly, this is how everybody scams you at Christmas, especially by saying. Usually, it's a text saying, "Oh yeah, um, we're parcel froze, and we're holding your parcel that you expect. Please." Call this number and give us your card details, to, otherwise it will be destroyed. And you're like, oh, good grief, that thing I ordered. And you do it, and you give them your card details and lose all your money at Christmas. Scams are great. Um, this seemed a little bit more official, and like actually when I went on to the website and put in the tracking code they gave me, it did actually have a full like itemized breakdown of all the stuff. Ultimately, it meant I had to like, pay import duty and rearrange delivery, and so it arrived the day after Lucy left, which means uh, that it's sat here until, until you come back. Yeah, which will be soon. Um, yeah. yeah, but, but yeah. I I did I did get a present. You did. My my other present other present from Sam is is pertinent for illiteracy, for it is a book. Yay! I got a very very nice very pretty folio edition of Invisible Cities, which I don't know where my copy went. But my copy was the one, Sam. You have the same. I thing, stole but... and hid it from you yes. so that that yes. one. No, I didn't. Of course. Yeah. Yes. But um, yeah, like it's just the box standard copy. And I don't know where mine went. I think I left, uh, lent it to someone. Um, and we've been talking about it recently. And mm. I told Sam that he should get it. And he did because he said he'd read a little bit. And I'd read the whole thing. I was like, you will like this. Um, and so he got me a copy. And look, look at the look at the illustrations. They're so mm. pretty. It's so I forget pretty. the name of the artist that illustrated it, but it's someone whose work oh, I've it which should say. Sorry. Dave McKean. Dave McKean, that's the one, yeah. Yes. He's Also I'm enjoying yeah. the immediate reaction from chat of Ooh, shiny. It's it's look, a really look, pretty look the inside. Oh, where's the camera gone? The inside it's like it's, yeah. it's so pretty. And there are so many lovely illustrations in here. So like Yeah, like for, it's I don't know if my camera's gonna pick any of this. Up. Oh wow, that is that is so uh, bl <laughs> so that blown is out. Very overexposed. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it's very pretty. Yeah, because yeah, like that's that's I so nice. I I still need does, to read it. Nice. Yes, you do. Um, I do because yeah, it's like the the one extract from that. I've gone on about this so many times before, but like the one extract that I read from that that just like showed me how how I would how I want like environments described versus how I don't want them described whereas like yeah. I'll compare it to um, Anathem by Neil Stevenson every time again sorry um, where he's like give you 
Pay, uh, no, sorry. You're, we're, we're good. Person who is not real. Oh, cheers, you ban. I was trying to find the button. Um, what was I doing? Yeah, like, Stevenson and Anathem spends ages, like, like, pages and pages meticulously describing all the, like, the materials and the architectural stylings of these great big buildings and stuff. And I would just read it and go, I have no clue. You've given me all this painstaking description, and I do not have a clue clue about what you've just described i it's i yeah. guess you could have just told me it's a like a large white building with some sort of i guess maybe brutalist design or something i don't know just g give me give me some vague descriptions and it doesn't matter whether what you picture in your head is the same as mine as long as we've got the same idea and we can go on and then i read a yeah this like passage from invisible cities and i'm like oh this is exactly how i want things you you've not gone into meticulous specific detail but you've described just like feelings and vibes of this place and I can immediately yeah. picture what this looks and feels like and yeah. I mean to be honest that was kind of a big inspiration for the the stuff that we've written for yeah, the Longest Johns. Especially the first part I assume. Yeah it's it's design. why it's why I called the ship that because I looked up I was like okay this because of this piece in it influenced me so much I want to kind of find out what the name of the place that he was writing about was called. It is actually based on a, an Italian city, and I can't think which one. Yeah, ha half of them are. Yeah, it's like Venice or various other bits. Yeah, like but Italy. what I, from what I could find, the the town in the book is called Zaira, and I was like, right, that's what I call on the ship. So yeah. Yeah. So there's 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 your little nugget of uh, yeah of a, a, a reference for anybody who has read Calvino's Invisible Cities. God, we're such snobs. <laughs> well, not snobs, but well, literary nerds. I mean, the thing is, I'm, but I'm like oh, fake. Oh, we didn't reference Skewers. But I'm like fake literary nerd because I've not even read the whole book. I've just read a bit of it and got, oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> that's 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 my what the whole book. Well, no, d like uh, the um, three paragraphs. But so yeah. <laughs> yeah, nerd. Yes, exactly. Yeah, afraid so. Mm -hmm. Um. I mean, I oh, also oh, got oh. books for Christmas as well. Yeah, you go. You did. I did. Yeah. Um, I, you, you do yours. Okay. Uh, where do I start? I well, I've, I've I've got another couple of books on hand that I've put aside. I mean, I got this cool bookmark from JD and Abby. Oh yeah, I also got that and then left it at yours. Yes, you did. Um, apart from Da Vinci Code, but you know, we'll we'll just hang on a second. There we go. There, there. It's got like Les Mis. Gatsby, there's a bunch of book titles and stuff on it, so it's cool. It's actually it's like really thick and it's, I think it's sort of like Is it leather. I don't know. It's either leather or like rubberized or something. It's 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 quite yeah. it's quite sturdy. <laughs> oh, Joey's sneezing. Are you right, bud? You've only read "If on a Winter's Night" a traveller by him, and it's a strange ride. Yeah, that's I haven't read that one, but it's one I, I mean to read. Okay, yeah, I should get I should do that. Um, but yeah, I got uh, this is also a gift, a kind of gift from Jodie and Abby. Uh, "Tress of the Emerald Sea" by Brandon Sanderson. I have I haven't read it. I've not read any Sanderson. Um, but yeah, I I will I will certainly give it a shot and see how I go. Um, and also, very kindly from Lucy, I got this, which Ooh. I'm very excited to read. It is The it's Mysteries. nice and thin. By... Won't take you long. No, well, it's not just thin. Also, a lot of pictures. There's my camera. It's a picture book. I got Sam yeah. a picture book. Yay. It's about his intellectual There's novel. no colour, though, so I'm going to have to, like, colour it in myself. Yeah, I think you have... Um, yeah, I'll get you yeah. some crayons. The Mysteries by Bill Watterson and John Cashed. I'm probably screwing up that surname. Um, but yeah, like Bill Calvin and Hobbs Watterson, but I think like just came out of retirement and said, "Yeah, I've got this like fantasy story that I want to write," and yeah, and it's just like the illustrations. The light is screwing it up, so I'm gonna try and shade it a little yeah. bit. But um, it's just all sorts of black and white illustrations like this. It looks really pretty. I'm trying yeah. to like do this without screwing up the book or anything. It is vibes. Yeah, it's. Like, you know, this this fella's a whole mood. So yeah, like, I am. It's almost like I I I'm going to have to make myself read this, not because I don't want to read it, but because it's it's one that I feel like I will get through quite quickly. 
Yeah. And then, and then my brain goes, right, we've done that. We never need to look at it again. It's like, no, you can reread things that you enjoyed. No, that's it. We're done. We'll, we, and yeah. so I, it's like I want to savour it. I want to, like, actually make sure I, I get the worth of it. And you can just look through a book again. I need This yep. is a lesson I need to learn. Um, yep. but yeah. Reading those, books is good. Yeah. I've only done it a few times. Uh, uh, mainly John dies at the end, I think, actually. <laughs> like, oh, in, in adulthood, anyway. As a kid, I used to do it a lot more. Um, uh, yeah, those, those I got books. also Brandon Sanderson. Ow. S- Sanderson. Uh, S- S- Sanderson? Sanderson. Yes, that's what I meant. Brandon Sanderson. Yep, that one. Yep. Um, the Wizard's Handbook for Surviving Surviving Medieval England. I've already read it. <laughs> As in. Brandon Sanderson. Brandon Sanderson. Uh, Sansa Bob is over there. Um, yes, JD and Abby very kindly got me this. I think I read it the next day or the day you, after you got through it in like two days <laughs> i sort of sam was playing something and turned around and i was like well that's that done it was like what i finished it oh <laughs> right okay yeah I right, so i just have this now um lucy pirates books by just going to bookshops for half an hour jokes aside i have read a book i know book. i, I i'm I, but I, I, I do get through books in bookshops it's very dangerous i sit there and it's like oh skim through the entire thing put back on shelf all right done yeah Sandra I mean, Branderson. yes yeah i feel like that that's kind of the, a little bit like the the conceit of a bookshop it's like if you if yeah. you can read through it in the time that it takes you it. to stand there that's sort of okay that's just impressive like well done yeah. you managed it like cuz yeah ordinarily you can't really do that without someone coming over and saying you're going to buy that mate so you know, if, if you can, fair play. Well done. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. I, I had mixed feelings about this. Yeah. Um, it was quite fun. It's kind of light reading, but I think that was the, the whole idea of it anyway. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I shan't go into my opinions now. Hmm. Fair enough. But I've also got, because, <laughs> basically, my dad has learnt that what he gets me for Christmas every year is just more Pratchett. Because I had decided last year, I think, that I would read all the Discworld novels in order. I don't... What what, what number am I on now? I'm on number 14 now. Uh, out of, what, 40? 40, 41? Oh, I don't know. Um, so I now have the next three Pratchetts. So, um... That's an afternoon's work. Yeah, yeah, it probably is. Um, I don't have any more bookcase space, so this is very dangerous. Um, but I'm on Lords and Ladies now, which is fun because it's another witch one. Yeah, Granny Weatherwax. Um, and I also got another book, but I can't reach it right now and I can't be bothered to get up and go and get it, uh, from Alice Roberts that's about burials. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like burials, which sounds very bad. That's fine. That's a normal yeah. thing for If it's Neolithic, else. I'm happy. I think Reaper Man is possibly your favourite. Have I read Reaper Man? I must have done. Reaper Man's like one of the ones before that, right? Hang on. I mean... Yes. Yes, I have read Reaper Man. Reaper Yay. Man was good. I enjoyed Reaper Man. It was incredible. Yes. We've been playing Carly and the Reaper Man, but that's a completely different. We have. Topic. Yeah. You can talk about that if you want. Can I guess it's a it's a VR game because. Oh I, yes. Yeah. What did you get for Christmas? What was your big thing? A nerd helmet. And that ha- Sam has a nerd hat now. Yeah, it's I I, I'm I'm a, I'm a fan of VR. I think it's very cool, and I, yeah, I I bought I I had a, kind of coincidence or no, coincidentally happened at the time that the original Oculus Rift was launching their like first consumer product. Um, I happened to have a PC that kind of met the spec and was like, oh, well, I guess I've got a lot of disposable income because I just happened to have at the time. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. oh, well. Um, and oh, one wishes. Yeah, and so I, I bought myself one of those and was very impressed by it all that time back then. And since then, it sort of it it became to be a bit more of a faff because it has a lot of USB cable requirements and a bit like stuff into your face. Yeah, exactly. Just like 
yeah, you need a PC with a lot of USB inputs and stuff. And so I just sort of stopped using it because it came became a faff. I couldn't have it set up permanently, and it is not suitable to temporary setups. Um, and so eventually, like I was going to say, this year, no, last year, um, I finally convinced myself to like pool together the money and like ask money for Christmas and birthday and stuff like that. Uh, like justify upgrading to to a Quest Three because it's all like if you I mean if you even want to plug it in it's just one cable it's much easier. It is uh, pretty snazzy. It's real neat. Um, I I've, I'm not here to do a VR advert but I've been super impressed by it. Um, it it works extremely well. It's very cool. Yeah. And it's very entertaining to watch Sam fighting off robots in VR as well. Yeah. It's a good spectator. You, you you like you. For how cool you feel, th your appearance is like inversely proportional. Like the 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 more badass you feel, like I'm John Wick shooting all these guys. I'm Neo. I'm some other variant of Keanu Reeves, I guess, doing cool things. And the person in the room is like, yeah. it's great. It's even even better when you start punching the ceiling. Yeah, yeah. Although you haven't managed to do that like with actual damage to either you or the ceiling no or... no yeah. um i've, I've... Like, oh that's the ceiling yeah <laughs> i've i've hit the desk a couple of times oh okay um, ow no the, the 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 most likely thing that is going to happen is i will step on joey because he will come into the room and just oh, sit yeah. he sees me standing and just sits at my feet yeah it's like and... hi no please Us? don't i do not no i do not wish to step on the cat um, but yeah, it's just on the subject of Reaper Man is a, a cool game that I picked up where it's a co-op yeah. like puzzle platformer thing where one person in VR is, I guess, the Reaper Man. I don't know. And you're just like a giant floating skull that the other player can decorate. Yeah. Hands. You currently yeah. have a very pretty straw hat on. I do. It's great. Um, yeah, you're just a floating skull and hands. You like kind of pull yourself around the level to like you're grab and hold and just like drag the level around and stuff. And your job is to like pick up and move platforms and things for the other player, who is like very small. Who is small, small human. Yeah, and it's playing... basically just how me and Sam go through life. Yeah, um, and and their job is to like puzzle platform and like jump around and stuff and dodge things, and you're trying to coordinate and stuff, and it it works really really well. It's a really good game. Yeah, probably. And favorite. you can give each other a fist bump. Yeah, and it has Which a fist bump button. You just bonk. yeah yeah. So yeah, yeah that's, Excuse the sound of bins being taken. It's up. fine. Love, love the, that's, that's the new rumble, um, music rumble, rumble, rumble. genre. Bin mm -hmm. step. <laughs> bop, 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 yes. bonk. Um, um, yeah. So yeah, that's yeah. Been been doing stuff with that. I will actually. Yeah, no. On back on the subject of books, then I guess I'll complain about the another thing that I'd downloaded for it called Pillow, which. It's, oh, it's, oh, it's, okay. it's it's otherwise really nice. It's like a just a kind of seemingly like nighttime, bedtime sort of wind down thing that's meant to be played lying down. It does projects cool stuff onto the ceiling. Um, yeah. But one of the things in it is like a choose your own adventure story thing. It's like we've got, you know, you, you pick what cues you want. for Who's going to guess in chat before I finish explaining this? Um, what my problem is with this is like you pick cues from the start to kind of tell it what kind of story you want. Um, and it will generate a story with different outcomes, and it's like, oh, okay. Hmm. I'm suspicious about this, and tried it, and immediately it's very obviously... There we go, Amras, thank you. It is a terrible yeah, AI... AI. It is AI art, and it is AI writing. Like, literally the first page mentions... I chose, like, sci-fi or something, and it mentions your... The text just mentions you're in, like, a laboratory. The spoken voiced dialogue literally calls it Aperture Labs. I'm like, Err, no, and yeah, the art's very obviously AI. And I've seen people complain to the developers about it, and they said, yeah, we're trying to move away from the AI art, but it's just kind of... Yeah, but they're not a big studio, are they? No, it sounds like they're not. And obviously it's not, it's not going to be making a lot of money. They're not a big studio, so that's kind of their justification for we kind of needed to populate it with AI art. Yeah. But they want to like get away from it or just train it on their own art as opposed to stolen art. Yeah, but yeah. like the other stuff in it's really nice. But that was like, yeah, that's kind of soured me on the experience a little bit. Or don't. Yeah, exactly. Like, I've seen the 
now onto this subject, saw that the comments that's been going around the last couple of days from uh, like is it Mid Journey or ChatGPT or something, basically saying like the product can't exist if we don't use copyrighted material. And it's like, so what you're saying is it's unprofitable if you if you don't steal, right? That rule applies to all of us, my dude. Like, yeah. I, I <laughs> That's called committing crimes. Yeah, I I I could also go to the supermarket and steal food to eat. But I yeah. don't. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It seems like a you problem mid journey. Like if Oh, it's... Amras. Wacom. Yeah. Yes, so, yeah, I saw that. Have you seen, it's the dragon, isn't it? That yep. little, the blue dragon and stuff, which yeah. is very obviously AI. I was like, really? Yeah. Well, there was a trifecta, really? there was them. Uh, Wizards did it again, Wizards of the oh, Coast. Really? Uh, yeah, because they they they'd had a thing a little while back with a I think it was a a D and D illustration where the artist they had commissioned had used AI generated stuff, and Wizards were like, yeah. "Whoa, hey, no, look, we obviously have quite a reputation for using artists and paying yeah. them for their work, and this isn't cool. So we promise you." We will never use AI generated art again. And then, like in the last week or two or whatever, they put out some advertising material for the new Magic the Gathering set that used AI generated backgrounds. When called on it, they even said, nope, nope, it was absolutely created by a person. And it's like, no, no, it's, you didn't. It's not. That's, you're lying. Stop, stop lying. Drop it. What's that in your hand? I can see the chocolate over your face. And. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, and there was a third company, I forget who they were, but yeah, it's it sucks. Um, yeah. yeah. You think that maybe AI training databases, which uh, with only things where people are given consent, which is fine. Yeah, exactly. Like when it's when it is trained on stuff that, well, yes, when it's trained on stuff that people have like consented to be used for that purpose, then that's fine. It's still still concerns me that the next step to that will then be like licensing work and stuff and ultimately still the goal of that is to it's like it's it's still taking a poison chalice right you license your work the, the price is never going to be better than it is at the start because the goal will be to drive down the price like is yeah. oh yeah we'll, we'll license your work so your writing or your art to be used to train this algorithm great five years time ten years time you won't be able to get work anymore because yeah. they'll just be using the stuff that was trained on your work to recreate your work for you and you won't have a leg to stand on because you've given permission for them to do it and so it's still yeah. like you are still like selling yourself out of the job um but people need money to live so yeah and and these companies refuse to pay it so yeah 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 yay it's all great yeah Fine. stuff yeah but in good news yes we, we do have a, th a thing that we've not actually talked about yet this is true yeah Shall the rebrand on the channel massive rebrand oh. yeah well, we've used so a we, new we've, font we've used a new font and we've ever so slightly changed the logo those eagle-eyed of you may notice but you may not and that and was kind of the intention yeah, like it's not meant there. to be massively obvious but yeah we just change change things up a little bit going for a font that makes us look a little bit more literary yeah <laughs> i guess it's got serifs bookish yeah <laughs> that's it um uh but um the book has a cover now it always did have a cover it was just very thin yeah so i've just kind of thickened everything up a bit a little bit to make it slightly more obvious from a distance um we've, we've gone, the cover we've gone from, the from this oh we've actually got yeah to, nice. you know, to, to, oh, sorry, Brandon Sanderson. Yeah, to this. Well, sort of. Kind of. Yeah, more or less. Yeah. Yeah. I like the fact we can actually <laughs> do, do, do actual demonstrations. With yeah, I, I'm now someone with enough yeah. books to hand that I can be like, oh, yeah, yeah that's yeah, a good yeah. example. Yeah. Hooray. Um,. The stream is so blurry. Oh dear, Arian. Oh. Maybe you need better internet. Oh. <laughs> it's doing its oh best. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so we did that, done that. And also, for all of you lovely people who... Well, we discussed it last stream, I believe. Probably. Whenever that was. Um, but for all you lovely ago. people who wish to support us somewhere else other than Twitch, um, we've kind of 
we haven't retired them necessarily, but the band camp and the coffee still exist. But we now have a Patreon! Yay! Yay! So on Patreon, you can uh, uh, get all of the stuff that we put on. We did put on Bandcamp, but you can download it and stuff. And um, yeah, all the stuff's on there. We will be adding more. Um, and uh, yeah, there are three tiers um, of membership. Um, they all get the same things, but basically, however much you're prepared to financially able to give, everything is welcome. Obviously, yeah. we are exceedingly grateful for you even being here, let alone giving us any money. Um, but yeah, like we, as as we said before, like the stuff, preparing, reading, things like that, and we want to get back to recording more stuff. Obviously, now for Patreon. Um, it does take time and uh as um, we're both kind of getting busier mm. and sort of need to need to sort of um justify not not that we're we can't justify spending time on stuff because obviously we like doing this yeah this is something we got we, we do view um and we yeah we we want to just give people stuff youtube's obviously all still there all the vods are up everything's running as normal yeah um but yeah, for anyone who doesn't necessarily want to support us on Twitch um, and wants to find somewhere else, um, yeah. then we now have a Patreon. Yeah. Um, also, for our Patreon supporters, we will be thanking everybody, like on on these monthly streams, on the Chilitrity streams. Yeah. Um, I'm even wondering about like maybe having a little thing on the actual OBS saying thank you to. Our no, we could have like a little scrolling thing. Yeah, because yeah. we've got space there. Yeah, we can, yeah, um, a lot of lot of empty space over this side. Yeah. Yeah. We started supporting more people on Patreon than YouTube. Yeah, YouTube's like, I don't know, I don't know how how great YouTube is with like members and stuff. Yeah, um, I'm not sure what the the split is. Because because the incentives with YouTube is just like you get more videos, and that's pretty much it. Like with Patreon, yeah. at least you can put other stuff on there. Like you can give people mm. access to various bits and bobs. And obviously for us, we're not creating videos, so like actually having a space where we can upload audio yeah um is good and helpful um, um so yeah. and yeah i think i think patreon just in general is it seems fairly decent yeah as a place um i know a lot of people use it and a lot yeah. of people seem to, seem to like the flexibility of it at least yeah um got a handwritten note from one of them nice i think it also pays better oh than youtube probably we haven't looked into that yeah I mean, we're we're a long way off like YouTube support and oh, stuff yeah. anyway. Oh, so yeah. yeah, yeah, YouTube is just our archive at the yeah. moment. Yeah, um, it, it it serves its purpose. Yeah, such as letting me see how many views. I was saying about this before. So oh like, yeah, yeah. I I don't know why, and I don't know if anyone watching could explain. Um, for some reason, like the like these these streams, the yeah, Chiliterity, the podcasty streams. Um, they they don't tend to get a lot of views. Um, fortunately, we're not like oh well, it's, there's no views, so let's cut it. Um, we mm -hmm. we do it because we want to do it, and yeah. But for some reason, the last one of these, the the one before Christmas, like comparatively, has the got stream a stream before Christmas. The stream before Christmas, um, comparatively, has got a lot more views, and I don't know why. Like no. I, this kind of made me a little bit paranoid. Like, did we did we do something? Did we say something like offensive that, that we didn't even consider? Or I don't know. It's weird. Um, I mean, it's it's cool. We're grateful for it. But yeah, it's just like I don't know. Has 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 one of you been just jamming it on repeat? Maybe I don't know. If so, thank you. Were we uh, particularly funny? Unlikely. No. Probably just tired. <laughs> Yeah, probably just like, uh, it's Christmas soon. Yeah. Uh, it does have Joey in the thumbnail, Joey that is thumbnail. true. Oh, hello. Me? Joey, get on camera. I'll just get his picture. That's what yeah. we do with this this empty space over here. Yeah. Up here. Oh, yeah. Little cat ball. Just, just put his face there. That'll be why. Everybody, oh. everybody likes cat. I'll just get like a 3D scan of him and we can just like rotate that. <laughs> Here is cat. Yeah. Cat is good. Perfect. All right. Perfect. Yay. 
the stream needs a cat cam. Problem with a cat cam with Joey is he's there and then he's not. Yeah, you you would mostly just have like a box or blanket or a a bit of bed. Yeah. And then occasionally a cat would walk through it. Yeah. Turn him into or, a VTuber model. Oh, good grief. oh gosh. GoPro attached to cat. Yeah, but then you don't see the cat. Yeah, you just see where he's going. You just see his food bowl and him fighting things. Yes. I'll or me it. from even worse angles. <laughs> that would be quite entertaining, actually, seeing you from cat-eye angles. Just, You're oh. kind of used to that already. You're, I mean, not quite Rude. cat, but, you know... Rude! Yeah. Rude. I'm not that small. <laughs> How dare. Yeah. yeah, maybe that's what we need. Yeah. More pictures of Joey. Yeah, yeah, I'll just make... Just... Okay, we'll, we'll make a this year. We should make like an actual thumbnail for that, and it's just a picture of Joey's face. Yeah, one on a long stick. What a GoPro. <laughs> yeah, but then Joey would just try to fight it. Get no, get Joey like a, a Google Maps rig, so he can <laughs> just like map the house. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's not that's not bad information to put out into the internet at all. I, mean, I don't Here's sell the exact it. Layout of my house. I don't sell it to Google Maps. Just keep it to myself. <laughs> Just hold the camera and follow his every. Yeah, so the Joey becomes the Joey becomes the host of the stream. I'm yeah. just the camera operator. Yeah, no, that's that's fair. I, I know what people really want. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's it's the bit in the Prestige where Christian Bale he's doing like the magic trick. He's being like a in like some underground club, and he's got like the rings, and everyone's like, ah, it's rubbish, it's boring. And his right pulls out a gun, but in this case, because he's going to do the bullet catch, and in this case, he just pulls out a cat. Yeah. Yeah. I've literally made that as a meme image and nobody looked. Oh, I sad know. times. Yeah. Oh well. Unappreciated. I know, unappreciated in my time. Yeah. Creative. Yeah. Uh, you'll you'll be famous when you're dead, I'm sure. For this one meme. No, no, not that one. No. No. Okay. Yeah. Um but yes, that's yeah. that is basically the news, I think. The, We're this, also gonna, this is the news. This is the news with Lucy and Sam, which is literacy news. Um, <laughs> audience boo, get better material stream like cat. Yeah. Um, I'm very jealous of you and all the birds, Corolla. I'm how? Coltits are like. They're, they, I, I, they're just. They don't want to be near people. They're really skittish. Um, which actually on the subject of birds as I was uh, driving out of the drive earlier because I had to go to teaching um, I wham my windows down and heard a cr uh, raven oh so they're back I don't know where but they're around great so yay oons, oons, my friend, oons, friendly oons, neighborhood oons, ravens oons, oons, not oons, ravens oons, oons glow sticks uh, yes yes exactly that yeah. So, um, yeah. Oh, your dad's been feeding for years. Oh, okay. So they're sort of uh, semi-tame then, and I nice. guess have probably told their, told their offspring. These these humans are nice. They're not going to hurt us. All is fine. Yeah. That's quite nice. Yeah. We've just got a very very um, uh angry and indignant Robin at the moment who's like, where's all the bird food gone? Where's my sits dinner? Sits on top of, yeah, sits on top of the bird feeder and just like, well, where is it? And then all the magpies come in and they go, well, we just stole it, so. It's ours now. Yeah, we have uh, the magpie protection like, racket. We've got like ten of them. There are more magpies than I've ever seen around here before. And they've just, as soon as put any bird food out at all, they're just like, alright, cool. Thanks. Five, five. What, ten? What, what's ten? I yeah. can't remember. It's, um... Uh, I can't ten, remember. Oh, ten for the winning lottery numbers. <laughs> Eleven no, for I, I a trip up the River Humber. Twelve... No. No. No, it's gone. There is one. There yeah. is one. And I can't remember what it is. Um, 
magpies and seagulls partying around at McDonald's bag the other day. They're where they belong. <laughs> in the trash. Aww. They're look, they can't choose. Bastards to a man. They, they to can't, a bird. They can't choose what they are. Yes, just, they're they just... absolutely... They can choose that. They can choose something other than chaos. They can't choose something other than seagull. <laughs> no, I don't think seagulls can. Seagulls, no, the seagulls don't have a conscience. What am I saying? Seagulls, seagulls have one mood, and that is destroy. There was. The, do, you, do you remember that very loud, pathetic baby seagull that we were watching in Clifton that time? That, had, that was oh, clear, yeah. clearly out with its mum and <laughs> oh, just yeah. like oh yeah, that was funny. utterly, utterly baffled by just, the world. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. What's like, happening? Just like running Where up to be like, are you, are you my friend? No, my... you, no, you, you sweet summer child of mine that I've been burdened. It might, might even not been a parent. Even it might have just this... been a concerned other bystander seagull who's like, yeah, I don't know whose child this is. <laughs> yeah, a bit of loud. I, a bit of I do Please nothing. Stop. It's going to die, and then it's on my conscience. So I have to come over here. Where are you going? Please. Yeah, he was just sort of wandering aimlessly. Yeah. Yeah, British seagulls just seem a lot more aggressive than French ones. Yeah, because they know they can get away with it, and because people just have chips out in the open and ice creams out in the open, the seagulls are like, "Well, I mean, you brought this upon yourself." Yoink. Yeah. And oh god, yeah, I've just remembered the seagull I saw in, uh, is it Castle Park in Bristol? Um, and someone, I felt so sorry for this poor woman it was at lunchtime and she had just sat down it was in summer she just sat down with a takeaway box with a big burger in it and she was literally lifting the burger to her mouth with the look of joy on her face and a seagull just swooped down and took the entire thing in its mouth and just buggered off with it and she sort of looked <laughs> up and went <laughs> and she just collapsed in on herself. I was like, oh no! That was probably <laughs> not from a cheap burger place either. That's, that's No, it looked been... really good. Yeah. I felt so bad for her. Oh, and this I... bastard seagull just flew off with the entire burger. I mean, impressive, but bloody I... hell. I would probably, if it was like an honest burger or something, I would probably just declare war. Just like, that's it. <laughs> yeah. I will. All seagulls die. That Yeah, I, I will. I'm. I don't believe in cruelty to animals, but I will consider it. I will consider kicking a seagull. Yeah. Oh no, I've done it. This, yeah, this is what we did last time. Just what? joke about being mean to animals, probably, and then everyone's like, "Oh, that's it, we got them." Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow! Someone feeding. I, I do your not actually encourage chips. being mean to animals. No, don't be mean to animals. No. But also, seagulls are bastards. Um, that don't feed seagulls chips. I mean, I must have told the story on here. I know I've told you, Tam, but I don't know if I've told the story on here when we were on a little family holiday down, well, like, holiday, like, mm -hmm. day out, almost, down in St. Ives in Cornwall. I think it was mm. St. Ives. Um, and um, we just got ice creams, like, you know, big Mr. Whippy ice creams. Yeah. Uh, and there's me and my brother walking down on the beach. This wasn't too long ago, so my brother is significantly taller than me. He's like 6'3", 6'2", 6'3", something like yeah. that. Um, and I was eating my ice cream and he was eating his ice cream and I was just like, oh, well, be careful with that because he was sort of holding it out here and sort of looking around. I was like, be careful. Seagull will get it if you're not careful. And he was like, no, 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 no. No, I'm, I, I said, I, I, I said to him, you're more of a target because you're taller. And he's like, no, 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 they'll go for the smaller one. And I was like, really? I don't think, and literally as I said that, Seagull swooped down, took a massive bite out of his ice cream. But didn't actually get the ice cream because seagulls are also idiots, apparently, and don't realise that you can't really bite ice cream. <laughs> so it got a bit on its beak and sort of flicked it off. Um, and it landed on the beach. And my brother, finding the humour in the situation after the first shock of realising that A, he was a bigger target, and B, ice cream had just been eaten. He still had a lot of ice cream left, so it was fine. Right. But um, he then ran to the spot that the ice cream was and made a little uh, headstone and put some rocks over it and buried it. Wow. So, um, yeah. Great. Um, yeah. Stalk or Heron once long ago found an, yeah, yeah, I think I know that story. Yeah. And that's how they were like, oh, birds, birds fly long distances. Huh. Um, but yeah. How did we get on seagulls? Oh, we were talking about magpies. Yeah. Yeah. I also saw Arian say Jay's 
Jays are, Jays are also bastards. They're pretty. <laughs> but somebody likes but... birds. There's a lot of birds you don't like. Oh, yeah. I mean, mag right, magpies, basically, corvid family who aren't jackdaws, crows, rooks, or ravens. They're all fine. Um, mainly because they're fairly... Eh, they're not fairly skittish, but they're, they're a bit more skittish. Magpies do not care. Jays also a bit more skittish, but do not care. Jays will attack all sorts. Jays steal eggs, Jays steal baby birds, which I know is a part of nature and stuff, but Jays are savage. Um, and magpies are just basically the, I don't know, gang of teenagers in your garden. And as such, you're an absolute nuisance. Jays are shy. Yes, this is true, but they're not nice. Because um, they're clever. This is the thing. Any clever birds tend to be clever for the wrong reasons. Stalks are massive, yes, this is true. You'd want, like to know what I think about robins. Robins are bullies! I love them. They're very sweet. Um, they're very clever, again. Um, they have a wonderful song, and they're very inquisitive, and I do love that about them. Like They will just turn up, especially if you're doing any kind of gardening at all. If you're out in a garden, they're like, ooh, ooh, are you turning over some earth? Earthworms? Earthworms? But they, they get to a point especially if they because they remember people robins i think it's been proven that robins have an eye for faces like they can actually remember people. Oh, right. um and they will they're very entitled robins they turn up and like right all right then get to work turn over some earth give me more worms um and um yeah and yeah and they're bullies it's just like anything else on bird feeders they're like nope off oh, you, you... although blue tits are the worst when it comes to that blue tits will chase away anything you got any games on your phone can i can i have a can i have a go on your phone no come on yeah give us give us give mr give please, us your phone mr oi oi mr mr yeah, yeah. oi mate robins robins mate. are the birds that i imagine have a cockney accent <laughs> Robins hang around outside corner shops asking you if you can go and buy them a packet of cigarettes or a drink. Absolutely. Just Absolutely. Oi, mister. Mate. 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 Mister. Mate. Mate. Yep. Can I have a go on your phone? No. Yeah. The loveliest little bird that will do crime murders. Yes. American Robins are different. Yes. Yeah, British Robins are... Yeah, they're just the garden... The garden bullies. Well, cultists are sweet. Cultists I like. Cultists are usually fairly shy. We we're on, we're on to birds now. Yeah. Who kited me onto birds? <laughs> <laughs> me? Did I kite myself onto birds? I think it was me. You think our robins are smarter than yours? Yeah, ours use centigrade. Hey. Oof. But my, my favourite garden bird is still the wren. Yes. Because they are More. loud. They're just, yeah, they're just round. They're round, they're small, they're loud. I can relate to them on many, many levels. Um, and the babies are... You can't see the tails, really, on the babies because they've got tiny tails anyway and they stick up. And the babies are just orbs. They are just orbs of fluff. Angry-looking fluff because Rob, uh, wrens have a little white stripe on their eyebrows that point, like, just above their eyes that point down so they constantly look like they're going... The babies, at least. Mm. They're very sweet. I like ones. And yes, it's was Perola's fault for mentioning cultits. Oh, it's Perola. Yeah. Damn you, brother. It's your fault. Yeah. Mentioning the cultits. I mean, if I... Yes, this is true. Everybody likes our robins because, oh, they're a sign of spring that they haven't got the sense to get out of the way of anything. That sounds like pheasants. <laughs> I'm going to run across the road. Oh, there's a car coming. I'm going to turn around and I'm, run back. I'm just picturing a robin the size of a pheasant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Ah! That would be great. Oh, after talk of GoPro cats. Okay. Yeah. Fair. So it's Sam's fault then. Um, Wait, no, I what? You're the I one just, with the cat. I yeah. It's Joey's fault. I'm Joey. Okay, let's go. trace it back. Me saying, well, us establishing that cats being in things it, like just skyrockets the views. And yeah. so yeah. Yeah. You hit a pheasant with the car once. Oof. Yeah, not fun. I mean, to be fair, there are a lot of them. They are stupid. They were kind of bred to be eaten. In fact, they were bred to be eaten. They're also not native. The boy. 
just it doesn't look like a cat i tell you what it looks like it looks like a one of the i realize i'm it doesn't look like a dead cat but it looks like a dead cat mike um yeah thing yeah just he does he all, does have he a... just he just yeah yeah Hitting a pheasant is not pleasant. No. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There are lots. There are lots of pheasants around at the moment, and they suddenly remember that they can fly, whilst halfway across the road. Is oh, I can do this. I guess you idiot. Hmm. I just need to mute myself and sneeze. Bless you. <coughs> but yes, we got we got onto birds. We did. Dangerous. Yeah. Dangerous topic. But you know, now, now that we've between us successfully alienated, alienated animal lovers and Americans. Sorry, um, yeah. you know that wasn't muted. I, it was what? muted for me. I, lit I you literally, I literally, I muted it. It, it muted for me on Discord. I muted it on OBS. I, I muted oh. the microphone. How? Okay, let's Magic. test. We're gonna test now. I can hear you though. Yeah, Lucy could hear me because I didn't mute on Discord. I literally, I click. Did you press the wrong button? No. Dun dun dun. That's. Weird. Well, I apologise. I don't. I. Great. Next time, I'm just gonna have to hit the turn off mic button. I'm gonna press this. Have you turned your mic off? I did turn the mic off, but then I also saw that like the OBS makes it like spike into the red and thought, oh no, did I just blast everybody's ears? You I didn't, apologize. but also okay. you shouldn't really turn your mic off when you're trying to use it like that. It's not good for the mic. Well, I don't know what to do then. Turning it off and on like A this. little mic pop, yeah. okay. Yeah, mic, mic pops on, I don't think, aren't, are the best for the mic. Okay, I, I mean, I've, this Am I the wrong? Time I've done it. Oh, hello, you're here now. Oh, we've got a boy. Just a little lad. There who is go. politely I love I love the fact that he just stands on the end he of the just, bed and just, just sits. Like, Excuse me. Is it meow? Well he doesn't even do that. He just sits well, and stares. He he well he meows a bit at first, and if he doesn't get the attention he will just sit. And I can see because I've got a window like right here in yeah. front of me. So I can just see <laughs> his reflection eyes. just like over my shoulder, just like Yeah. Like this. <laughs> and then he gets self conscious. Bless him. Okay, there. Where do, where do you want. Where do you, okay, you want it down there. Alright. Hi. Just. You just want to wipe your face. <laughs> he reached. He does. Yeah. He. He. He puts. Oh, he. He reaches yeah. all the time. He he uses his paws to communicate. Does he ever get confused himself and sleep? No, he has in the last few months he has started like watching TV. Um the the biggest offender is um oh I've forgotten the name of it now, but uh, it's a a channel I put oh. on occasionally. Critivision. That's the one, Critivision. Crit -crit Critivision. Um it's like a sort of nature place out in the states that has 24-hour cameras on on like a setup that gets all sorts of wildlife through in particular a lot of birds and there was a point where he just suddenly went oh bird tv and tried to bite the tv um and it does sort of hello yeah can touch this and since then he has now found his attention being pulled to like if there's stuff moving on the screen he will sometimes watch. Um, yeah. Are you, you watch it when it's super late and there's opossums? Yeah, nice. it's re it's good. But no, I don't think he's ever actually been confused by himself on the screen. He doesn't even look at himself in mirrors. Like he'll, yeah. he'll walk up to the mirror and just go, uh, and just go on with his life. 
He's not yeah. one of those cats He's a that. Lad. Yeah. Well. He's like, yeah, it's me. I look great. <laughs> okay, he's just trying to play Tetris with you. Great. Hello. Do you want? Do you wish to come over? What do you, what do you want? Do you want me to pick you up? Ooh. Anyway, there you go. Are you gonna? Are you gonna do this? Oh no. Hi. Come on. Oh dear. Hi everybody. <laughs> oh, this cat is a, just yeah. a menace. Oh, and you do hear some Stardew, yes. It might be too quiet now actually, but yes, sh there should be quietly in the background some Stardew Valley music playing at the moment. Ah, and the purring. <sighs> the purring begins. Yeah, hi. Hello. I've just realised we should probably take a break. Now. Yeah, we should now that the cat's now the cat's now over. settled. Yeah, this is this is the big money. This is where all the views are going to come from. You show us your face, Joey. No, yeah, no me, just Joey. Yeah, I know. I okay. What I should do is I'll just make him when I when I the little like PNG tuber video. Well, not video the yeah. rig. Sure, let's call it that. That I made for. Longest John streaming occasionally. I'll just do one of Joey. Just have like a little Joey oh, face yeah. that just like bounces in the corner. You can have yeah. that. How about that as a treat? Yeah. Yeah. Or make a little little cat hammock as you keep on saying you want to at some point. Yeah. In the corner of the desk and just set up a camera there so he won't go there. He will not use it. No. No. Yeah. This is the problem. I, th I think that might be your maximum allotted dose of Joey. He's now going to sit on my lap. Um, yeah. Me and my jumper is very similarly coloured to Joey. Yeah, I, yeah, I can see that. The jumper is a bit more blue than it looks. I think. Yeah. On yeah, it's kind of yeah, it's a little bit sort of grey blue. It's nice. Sleep. Yes. Um, but yeah, I think you're right. We should take a break and then. We should. Also, Sam does have, I think. Two boxes on the floor at the moment. Uh, Joey, one, one box that is open, which he he looks at occasionally, but doesn't go in. Yep. Yep. <laughs> we need more Joey emotes. Yeah, that's true. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. We just have the black at the moment, don't we? Yeah. Um, but yes, when we return, the plan will be to play some more Mothmen 1966, which we started yes. last time, and was actually kind of good. I yeah, yes. we sort of I think we were clowning on it a fair bit, but it it was it was good. I actually liked it. Um, yeah. I was getting into that. We have well, well, I don't think we were necessarily clowning on it. We were just not particularly liking one of the characters. Yeah, it wasn't great. Oh yeah, him. Yeah, he was an ass. Yeah, I yeah. can't remember his name. Yeah, uh, let's call him Chad. Um, but yeah, no, that's good. Uh, I I was thinking earlier actually what we could maybe possibly if we wanted to do when we finish this is not today obviously but like next time um, if it's still on Game Pass is do like Phoenix Wright or something because oh, that yeah. that would be a, a big old tonal shift. Um, yeah. But well, could be fun to to read that. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I guess we're gonna go to a break. Um, yeah. What do you want? Five minutes or ten minutes? Let's go 10. I ten? feel like I might yeah. make myself a hot chocolate. That sounds reasonable. Um, yeah, okay. So, 10 minute break coming up. We are going to disappear for that amount of time. Yep. Um, so, you know what to do. Move around, stretch the limbs that you got, cycle the yep. fluids and stuff. And, you know, when, when we come back, we'll, our faces will be gone. Uh, from, from the screen, at least. You know, we, we retain those for public appearances um <laughs> sure uh but yeah we'll, we'll be back we'll be back then and see you see you in a few minutes indeed hot chocolate doesn't like a good idea well you, you know you, you've got time it's a break um so yeah oh everybody's so, gonna have hot chocolate now. everybody hot chocolate break now that's if, if you need permission this is permission go do it we'll see you oh, back here in a bit if you fall asleep lay in the softly also goodbye good night bye yes. for now back in a minute yeah see you